Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Just want to give you guys a <clears throat> update on uh, how I'm doing, and um, talk about the past couple, past month of uh, treatment and recovery and all that good stuff. So, uh, we just had our third round yesterday, um, the 22nd of June, and it's going okay. Um, first two rounds have been first day is okay and then it um, usually by the second or third day it gets a little fatigued and not a lot of energy um had some stomach issues some digestion digestion and um some constipation issues after the second round which were uh, it was tough to to get through that but um, so far it's all been good um lost all my hair um, all my facial hair for the most part and all my um, hair on my head is gone but that was to be expected um, weight wise uh, weighing in about 156 right now 154 which is down considerably from where I was but again it's controlled weight loss and it's probably going to be my probably going to work up from here um, working with just different types of food and learning what my body can handle on chemo has been challenging a little bit because it's found out beans cause cause me to have some pretty bad constipation and so cut the beans out and um, hopefully that gets rid of the constipation so but uh got a port installed it's new uh, that was a procedure that surgery that local anesthesia um and um still have my little my little patch what that does is that that um after chemo you know the chemo kills your blood cells your white and red blood cells and, and this thing will boost them so you wear it for 24 hours after chemo and it will automatically go off uh, between 24 and 27 hours later and it'll inject you with I don't say they're steroids, but they're just whatever the medicine is that will increase my white and red blood cells. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's that. Um, Food-wise, focusing more on protein. Um, doctor wants me about 95 grams of protein a day, which is um, wasn't there before. I was probably in the 40s, so trying to double the protein. Um, so that's doing it through mostly protein shakes. Um, still vegan, still not eating. Um, I am having a couple eggs a week, but um, that's about it. So, um, but yeah, feel feel good today. Um, well, feel okay. Got up, walking, uh, do about a mile, and uh, go rest again. But it's got to keep going. So. Wasn't a whole lot to say in this video. Um, I just wanted to throw something out there just to so you guys can see how I'm looking, how I've changed. Um, but so we did one thing is that I had chemo again yesterday. And the morning of chemo, we do lab work, um, usually bright and early before 7, before 6 a.m., get labs done and give the doctor a snapshot on. on where I'm going um, and we talked about it yesterday morning he said dude you're you're, you're fine he said you're um, you know all your counts are good um, my liver counts were high so he wanted to give me some medicine to reduce those and I'm trying not to give try not to take hardly any medicine Western medicine um, you know, there's natural ways for me to detox my liver, so we're doing that. We're doing a lot of uh, lemon, lemon water, a lot of vitamin C, a lot of grapefruit, um, teas, a lot of green tea, black tea, just herbs, spices on the teas, turmeric, ginger, just a bunch of stuff that naturally detox my liver because I'm trying not to get on a bunch of prescription drugs to, you know, to do it not the way it's supposed to be done so uh, but anyway back to the doctor he said yeah you're, you're you're 
all your counts and test scores are coming back great. I said, you're fine. Um, my heart rate was a little low for me. Um, after the second round of chemo, my heart rate usually, because I have a Fitbit, I wear it all the time and pretty conscientious about what's going on. And the point is that my resting heartbeat on the lowest side I've had, I've had this Fitbit for over a year and um, the lowest it's been was in like the 60s, like 61, 62. Well, last round after chemo, on got chemo on Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday was a, a down day. I was in bed most of the day and I looked at my Fitbit and my, my heart rate was like 55. And I'd never seen it in the 50s, um, which was concerning to me. I'm like, oh wow, like it's dropping to 54. And um, it was like that for a day. And so I kind of got a little, a little worried about it, but talked to him, talked to my oncologist about it. He goes, no, you're fine. He said, you're, you know, you're 156 pounds. Your body um, isn't, your heart rate, people who are bigger, more body mass, usually the heart rate's higher because your heart has to pump blood throughout your whole body through all these cells. And it's just, your heart's got to work harder. So he said, dude, you're, you're 156. When was the last time you were that low? It's not since high school. So he said, yeah, I'm not worried about the heart rate. You know, if your heart rate drops into the 30s, um, yeah, we got something to talk about. But, you know, 50s, no, 40s, eh. So anyway, that was kind of reassuring because that was stressing me out a lot. So heart rate, um, it's good to know. But, um, yeah, so he was, he said all my lab work came back good. Um, you know, and I don't want to jinx anything, but he said, dude, we're going to cure this thing in six months. So we're going to get a PET scan. Um between now and my next round, which is on July 6th, we're gonna get a PET scan to see how we're doing. And he said, dude, you better be present, present, pleasantly surprised for a good scan. Um, so, you know, I don't wanna put this out there and jinx myself, but I'm looking forward to that day. So, but that's it. So here now, um, trying to get some steps in going to uh rest up we got a baby shower this weekend saturday and then i'm heading to uh work next week we fly out on tuesday afternoon so i'll be in socal tuesday evening uh through the weekend i gotta be back in houston on tuesday the 6th of july but we'll spend some time in socal so if you're watching this and you're in california hit me up we'll be out there grab some lunch or dinner or slap hands see what's up so what else? What else? What else? Hope you can hear me okay. I don't have my headphones in and it's pretty windy over here, so hopefully it's, it's coming through okay. Um, for us down here, Riley's making friends. She's got a couple of new friends that she's been hanging out with, and Sarah's got some new friends, so it's good to see her getting out of the house and making friends here. Um, good people. So she gets to uh, get a break from my bald ass and they have been going to the... You know, one thing about Leander and North Austin is they have a lot, a lot of parks, a lot of splash pads that the kids that you know absolutely love. So they're, they're staying busy. Riley and her friend Jelani are taking a, a dance class. It's like uh, tap, ballet, and tumble, I guess it is. Um, so they're doing that a couple days a week. She's Riley's missed a couple of classes because we've been out of town, but... Um, so that's keeping her busy and she loves it. She's probably still doing swim. So she loves getting in the pool. She went today and so she's loving that. And Sarah's still making shirts. She is uh, taking orders for different types now. All, all different people are hitting up for all kinds of stuff. So that's cool. And it's pretty much it with me. I don't really have anything else to say. Um, Still love you guys and still appreciate all the support, all the messages and all the prayers. We definitely need them. Um, as optimistic as everything is, you you know, there's a, a lot of risk with this disease and just hoping for the best. So that's it. It's about 100 degrees today. Got a little sun on the, on the scalp, so I'm not... I don't feel too uh, self-conscious as much as I did before, but that's it, guys. Um, now I'm going to shut it off because I'm about at 
add updates and so love you guys stay in touch and um stay blessed love you